Don't forget, if you like art and you want to show it, uh, pick up a Halloween drawing sticker. Uh, these are only going to be around till October 31st, 2022. Uh, and then after that, I'm going to take them away forever. Uh, so pick one up before then. I put these on water bottles. I put these on, you know, on my laptop. I put them all over the place. Uh, but definitely pick one up if you like showing your spirit. Anyways, let's get back. Hey, how's it going? Today we're going to go over how to draw a Halloween pumpkin. Uh, kind of a monster one. So let's get started, okay? I'm going to go over here and I'm going to start with the teeth. It's going to be like a zigzag all the way. A zigzag line like that, kind of random. Now I'm gonna do. I'm gonna curve over here for the teeth on this side. Maybe add a couple more, right? Like on that, like that side. I'm kind of making them conform to like a gum, gums or something, right? Throw a couple more in here as well in between, just to make it really look scary like uh there's you know like just a bunch of random teeth kind of like a shark teeth behind teeth stuff like that and what i'm gonna do here is i'm gonna throw out a tongue very venom like curve right here dot dot dots right here just kind of curving curving around Line right here, line right here, line right here, line right here, line, 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 line. Line over here. And we're gonna find the teeth at the bottom here. So you're not be gonna be able to see all of them. Curve line here, curve line here, and I'm gonna fill this in here. Just filling it in. See, that's like the dark area of the mouth. Just filling that in. Doesn't have to be super pretty or anything like that, but just enough, you know, to you know, just you know, fill it in as you can. What I want you to do is uh, to subscribe. I'm gonna be here all the time throughout the Halloween season. I'll be posting many, many times per day through the Halloween season. Check out the playlist. There is a lot to go check out. And I hope you like that, right? It's fun to do that. Curve over here. Curve over here. Right on. Line over here. Just throwing more teeth, right? Now I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna create the curve for the side of the pumpkin here. Curve for the side of this pumpkin. I'm gonna draw the little bumps, right? For the ridges of the pumpkin there. Over here, bumps on below here just to kind of keep it all together go over here up down over here curve curve line 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 over here line over here line 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 and line over here Sweet. Right on. Oh boy. Line, line, line. Line, line, line over 
over here. And again, you're kind of more or less at this point, just kind of toying around with details. But that's the fun part about it, right? Just kind of toying with the details. Let me draw a thicker line on the outside. Don't forget to hit the like if you do like this uh, kind of monster pumpkin style stuff. Uh, these mops, mo these kind of various Halloween drawings. Make a request and I will totally do another one. So let me know. Pretty cool to, to kind of do these. One over here, just kind of, really just kind of toying with it. Right on. And let's give a little color here. Very, very light color, nothing too crazy, but let's give a little bit of color. Uh, I think that it'll really help to do that. So I'm gonna grab the orange. Let's <coughs> kinda go over here along the sides. <coughs> Excuse me. Trying to use these with, uh, these are Copic markers, by the way. They're much better than Crayola, but Crayola, if, if that's all you got, use that. And I'm more or less just kind of coloring it in flat. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm just kind of coloring it in flat for the most part. And giving it like that little bit of flavor, right? A little bit of flavor there. Might leave a little bit of light rim at the top. Gives a little bit of a dimension to it. And then uh, let's go over here to the stem. Uh, well, you know what? Yeah, let's go to the stem and give it some green. I think that's a good idea. Even though in real life, right, they're kind of brown. I just think like green gives it so much more flavor. And then let's go with a kind of a pink here for the tongue. Very, oh, I can barely see that. Let's see. Is there a darker pink? I think I have a darker. <coughs> Excuse me. I think, okay, this pink is dark, but it's nearly gone. But it kind of goes down like a crayon or something. It has this texture to it I kind of dig. I kind of like this, this, this texture, to be honest. So I'm going to do that. And uh, that's mostly it. You can grab like a yellow, maybe like a dirty yellow. Let me see the yellow. Or like this light green, but I'm only gonna do a little like edges here. There you go, just a little bit of green edges to kind of give it some dimension because they are ultimately white, but it, it's gonna catch reflection from random stuff. And I think it gives it a kind of a neat look. Just kind of throw a line there through each of this stuff to give it a little bit of dimension. I want to thank you for following. Uh, don't forget to share the video to spread the Halloween cheer. You're the reason this channel exists. It's for you guys. And like I said, if you want to see more stuff, let me know and I'll talk to you very soon. See ya.